Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Your Excellencies, Ministers of uh, ITU Member States, Secretary General of uh, ITU, Mr. Yulin Zhao, elected officials of ITU, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Please allow me, Honorable Chair, to firstly congratulate you and your Bureau members on your successful election at this 20th session of ITU Plenipotentiary Conference. My delegation has full confidence in your leadership and wish you every success. Honorable Chair, let me begin by thanking the ITU for its continuous support to the developments of ICT telecommunication sector in, in my country, Vanuatu. Vanuatu has positively progressed over the last four years and whereby well on its achieving the goals of the Connect 2020 agenda. It has always been our firm convictions that ICT as an enabler will provide a common platform to bring everyone together. Honorable Chair, mobile broadband coverage has increased to over 98% of Vanuatu's total population. Vanuatu has experienced a growth of 24% in mobile subscription since the last quarter of 2016, with services becoming increasingly affordable as reflected in the 20% market revenue increase as reported in the last quarter of 2017. Satellite broadband network has geographically covered 100% of all islands of Vanuatu. The rollout of fiber to home and fiber to business, together with the local presence of catching service of some big citizens at the Vanuatu Internet Exchange Point, combined with the leaf frog from 2G to 3G and 4G plus, has, been, uh, has seen major improvement to internet speed in Vanuatu. These achievements could have not been delivered without the multi-stakeholders collaboration and approach promoted in the national ICT policy. These achievements did not come with a major, did come with major and difficult challenge attributed to the, the archipelago nature of the country with islands separated by water. The Vanuatu government acknowledges this challenge and therefore has taken stringent measures to address them through development of innovative policy. For example, infrastructure sharing policy, which is currently being developed. This policy strategy will enable collaboration between the government and the stakeholders through the Office of the Telecommunication, Radio Communication and Broadcasting Regulator on improving quality of service user experience and addressing areas identified as the black spots areas. Honorable Chair, Vanuatu is located on the earthquake front, ring of fire, that sits at the center of the Pacific cyclone belt and known to be the world's most at risk country for natural assets. Vanuatu acknowledges assistance from ITU in the of work currently being undertaken to establish a clear and operational national emergency telecommunication plan for Vanuatu. We also acknowledge assistance and support from the regional partners like the Asia Pacific Telecommunity, who have been working closely with Vanuatu on innovative solutions for our early warning systems for Volcano as well as post disaster recovery support solution known as movable and deployable ICT resource unit. With the support of the Australian government through the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Cyber Affairs Program and the Asia Pacific Network Information Center, Vanuatu has established its computer emergency response team. The rate at which the Pacific is being connected to the fiber optic submarine cable is amazing. However, our geographical locations of islands provincial centers and communities will always remain in rent challenges. At the same time, the government and its stakeholders are committed to capacity building for, Vanuatu, for New Vanuatu. The Vanuatu government is also considering backup infrastructure gateway, especially the submarine cable. Honorable Chair, whilst we are seeing the progress and achievements in ICT development, we also acknowledge the potentials of uh, technologies 
such as artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, smart cities, blockchain, and 5G. Artificial intelligence has potential to contribute in some specific sector services, such as health, whereby delivery of medical supplies to remote parts of the country remains a challenge. The potential of blockchain technology are being considered subject to the enactment of appropriate legislations by the parliament. In 2017, ITU conducted the ICT regulatory tracker, which plays Vanuatu in Group 3, a regulatory environment that enables investment, innovation, and access, dual focus on stimulating competition in service and content delivery and consumer protection. Radua government forces the potential of digital transformation and digital society for Vanuatu and work has begun on establishing a national digital governance roadmap which will enable Vanuatu to establish clear and robust policy, including legislative and regulatory framework to boost ICT development in, in the country. Rebel share over the top services are beneficial to our island's nations. However, there are also challenges, challenging issues. We believe that through our cooperative engagement, we can find solutions that will be beneficial for all. May I conclude by thanking all our development partners I would like also to express our deep appreciation to, appreciation to the ITU for being always at the forefront in assisting member states. To our general resource, we thank the government of the United Arab Emirates for the wonderful hospitality in this uh, great city of uh, Dubai. Thank you.